Hi friends, welcome to Srinu Technologies, myself Ram Kumar. Today we will discuss more details about process study in Blue Prism. Okay. So in our previous video we have seen how we can have a page reference that is a sub process and then how to send in parameters to the sub process that is called input parameters and how to retrieve the process data or the output of one process to the calling process which is called output parameters. Right. So we will go to an next uh, debugging scale which is called stepping. So stepping is used to step over and step out to traverse pages more quickly. And then as a thumb rule you should understand when you are saying step over means a page or a stage completely will be executed at one shot and then it will be moved to the calling page. Step out means it will execute the complete set of page or process at one shot. I think it is confusing for you right now. So once you do this on the process or the uh, flow which we have created in our tool, you will get to know more in detail, right? My idea is to you should understand everything in detail and understand the and have the bigger picture of how the process is working, right? Let's go back to the tool and then see how this stepping uh, debugging skill is more useful for us. Go back to the tool. Let's go back to the tool. Yeah. So here we are in the main page, right? This is the calling page or calling process and loop page is our sub page or sub process, right? So what you can understand here is start is a stage, set index is a stage, loop page is a stage, end is a stage, right? What we have seen is earlier we have in the loop page we have given a hard coded value here but here I have used a data item here. So now if you see it, what the process is looking like is so once it comes to start and then set index what I'm doing a set index is I'm setting value some value here for now I'll keep some value like 4 here. So 4 is set into the index is the data item here and then 4 is set as value and then what is happening let me save this as I have marked a change so now once we have that 4 as that value it is calling the loop page in which the input parameter is index means 4 will give as input to this um, loop page and then what is the output city name will be coming as output. So this is what we have done earlier. So hard coding I have removed and then kept a calculation stage that's it. So what is big thing with to do with setting stage. So what I am going to say is if you see here beside the go and pause we already know how it operates right once you click on go the process starts execution so once you click on pause the currently the execution will pause and then um, the, the process will hold for you until the we press on go button or resume it. So next to it we will be seeing three stepping debugging commands. So first one is step, second one is step over, third one is step out. Okay, so in simple terms, I'll be telling when you click on step, it is step by step procedure. Means you want to see each step how the control is flowing. So when we clicked on go, what happened? It came to start. It came to. It will come to set index. It will go to loop page. Once it comes to loop page, it will the page the window will be changed to loop page not open this explorer so it will go to loop page it will come to start go to the loop iterate to the loop until the index is matching with the counter and then comes to end and then come back to the main page and then it will stay on loop page and then end so this is like step by step procedure right so each step means once it comes to a page the sub process steps are also included so that is step by step so let's see what is step by step. So I'll click see. Instead of one thing is if I click on go, the steps will be going. It will not be stopping. Right? Hope you are getting me. Once you say once I say go, the process will not stop. It will with the speed which you have marked based on fast, normal, or slow, the control will be going from one stage to another stage, and then it will go from one page to another page. In that page, again it will go to each step by step or each stage by stage and then it will come back to the main page and then finally land in 
the end stage so this is step actually means but if you click on step it will go step by step but it will halt after every step or stage so go button is continuously continuous running step button is it will halt after each stage means if you want to debug and then you have kept some conditions you have kept some if logic you have kept some decisions you have kept some expressions you want to see how your expression is working how the dynamic data is picking up so we can go by step by step let's see how we can go step by step well, see i'll be clicking step only step command only i will not click on go here okay please pay attention so when i click on start so from uh, sorry when i click on step it came to set index if you see here the index value is zero because it just landed onto the setting it, it is not executed so when the highlight color is highlighted it's like the process the stage is ready to be executed the commands inside the stage are not executed so now again i'll click on stage so, sorry step so when i say step it will go to the loop page so i click on step it went to loop page right now it is ready to go inside the loop page so when i click on again another step it came back to the loop page and then if you see here it will go to the order loop it will go to the assign location it is going one by one now if you see here clearly i can see what are the values it is iterating and then how the each record value is read stage by stage which is step by step and then it is, you can see the dynamic how the values are getting generated how the expressions are getting um, executed and then how the decisions are made if you see here i'm seeing i'm in the index i know that okay the index value if you see on the right counter is one index is four so i will understand okay you should go to the loop no decision loop now means you should go it should take a direction of no it's not take a direction of yes so this is my intention right so i'll click on step yes it worked so again it comes back to the next iteration or next record something like this it is happening so this is step by step so i'm doing a refresh so it is passed now if you see so if it, i can click a go here again so when i click a go here it will start running one by one if you see here it will not stop i'm not clicking on step it is continuously running so go is continuously running so I'm st again I'm clicking a pause here and I again I can do a step by step. Now if you see here I'm on fourth thing. So now the decision should be true or yes. Yes. Now what happened is came to end. It, so I'm clicking on steps only if you see. And then it came back to the end. If you see here for index 4 the city name is Kolkata. This is step by step debugging. So, right hope you understood this so we'll go back to the next debugging scale so now i can have refreshed so everything is reset now so you have understood what is step so step is it will traverse through each stage in all pages means in sub pages in the sub process everything it will go by step by step so what is step over so step over means it will go from one stage to another stage only in this page it will not go to the step page means once it is in start it comes to set index which is next stage next stage is loop stay loop page next stage is end it will not go inside the loop page that is step over means you are skipping the sub process if you are skipping the sub process by the view is skipped not the execution did you get me what i mean to say is if you can see here it will start with start go to set index go to loop page and go to end you will not see that the control is going to the loop page and then it is coming to end but in reality it will go to the in the back end in the back office or what we say it in the back end in the system back end the things will be completed and then you will get the city name as the output for sure there is no change in the execution but just that we are seeing how the stage by stage navigation is happening step is when you when you call step debugging mode all the steps inside the sub page are also called when it is step, step over the difference between step over and step is step over will go through all stages in sub page as well but when it is uh, step over it will go through each stage in the same page if you if you see here i pressed on step over and it came to set uh, set index I am clicking, clicking one more time step over it came to loop page now what we are thinking you might be thinking that I will click on step over and it will go inside the loop page no the control will go inside 
do all the process and come out but the from visibility standpoint we will see that the control is there on loop page only and then it comes to end so let me click on step over now so click if you see here if we got the city name as Kolkata it did not go inside so this is step over step is step by step in all the pages step power is step by stage by stage or step by step in the current page only right so this is very simple right or very easy for us to debug actually so these are the different modes we have and then the interesting mode is step out so one is step is nothing but stage by stage in each page step power is step by step or stage by stage in the current page step out means it will not go through each stage in the current page from start to end it will go in one shot and then you will see that is the city name so let me just execute so I am just hovering on the step out you will see the step out is shown to you as a tooltip now I am clicking the step out ready one two three go so if you see here you did not notice that it came the control came to set index loop page and it landed on end and then we got the city name if you want I can change the value also here if you are confused you might be thinking that it has to be the last previous value I will give some value as 6 or I will give some value as 8 right now I am giving the value as 8 if you see here so now I am giving the value as 8 so we, before it is service 0 when we run it it, will, it should become index should become Z8 and then the CT name we should get the corresponding value of 8 so I am clicking on step out if you see here index is 8 CT name is Amravati so this is how we do the debugging process using stepping hope this is very useful for you and then during our development it will be very useful so once you get to use to it, it you will feel it more happy or more handy for you right so let us go back to the ppt and go to the next topic yes so now we have seen how stepping is useful for us in debugging purpose and then and uh, what are the three modes available for us which is step step over and step out right so hope it is useful for you now we will go to the next one which is control room so how so we will see how a process which we have developed is visible from a control room right so we were stating earlier process can be run from control room so for to run a process from control room first it should be it should be made visible to the control room so we might be having 100 process during development but ones that are completely finished should be visible to the control room so that process is called publishing okay so we will see how to, so we have created a process now and then you will see how we can publish a process and then once the publishing is done how we will see how it is visible from control room and then followed by we will see how we can run this process from control room means with means without clicking on go without clicking on step without clicking on step over without clicking on step over so how we can do it so let's go back to the tool and see how we can make our process run from control room so for this first step is publishing second step is running the process from the control room so let's go back to the tool now yes so we are in main page right so we have seen that main page is the place where the execution gets started even though we are in loop page and then when we clicked on go button it started from main page right so now let's see what are the options available so if you say loop page when I click on it so there is just cut delete del duplicate rename new these things are only there but if you click on main page and click on write so so these things are disabled because this main page should not be deleted so now we have something called this thing I think this name sir I think we did not uh, correct it so what I will do is I will correct this actually what is the name of our process to loop order right loop through order this is our process name loop through order right and then so what we will say is description is for given index get the city name of the order this is what we are doing here so this is the information page if you see at the bottom there is something called publish this process to control room right when you check this 
and then click on OK right and then do a refresh so if you see here there is a tick mark beside the information text hope it is visible for you so what I am saying is there is a tick mark here at least this tick mark was not there right so when you set this tick mark it means this process is visible from control room so this publishing is over means the process which we said we need to publish a process to the control room then only we will be able to visualize the process so this is published so you can see this in the control room so let's go back to the control room and see how we can run this process from there okay and let me go back to the so if you see here there are two process actually available for here for us but ours is read excel and then we have a sample process also there are two process here and but we have published only one if you remember right so let's see from control room how many process are visible so i'm clicking on control tab and then i will do a refresh One second, it is it is logged. So we need to once we publish, we need to save this and close. Okay, so and then so now we see here these are our two processes which are available. Like loop through order is our name which we have given, and then sample is our process. These are the two processes, and loop through order is what which we have published. So I've done some save, save changes, and then now I'm going to control room. You see here loop through order is the process which came to the visibility in the control room earlier there is no process available actually we have two process in our studio but only one is there because if you go back to sample and see in sample if you go to this information box the publish button is not visible i will make it visible now i clicked on the checkbox and then i said save and then let me close this and then see whether this is visible or not right let me go to the control room if you see here there are two process now so this is how it is so control room is able to see the published process in the available process window right so now how to run this so this is my machine which is there which is ready for deployment so now means this is called the robot actually the machine which is ready to run is the robot on a robot we can run a process right so what we should do is we should drag and drop this process on the robo machine so think that there are many machines connected in our network there are 100 10 thousand so based on the process which we loop uh, drag and drop the process will be running on that particular machine if you don't want to drop it you can schedule a job also for a particular machine that also can be done but for now we will just understand how to run a job so we will just i'm just dropping on this so, let, so if you see here below it is status is pending means it is ready to start actually it is it will do some initial prerequisites or validation and it will keep it ready so what i can do is if you want to do a hard selection means if you want to select a particular process which is in pending state and you want to start it immediately so i can say you have i've already selected that process so i will say start selection click on the start selection link here so if you see here so it is status is completed we did not see some status as running or in progress something like that because it is too quick actually if there is a big loop or big thing happening and a big iteration is happening we will see that the status will change from pending to running or in progress and then it finally it will be made as completed so the process is completed so if you want to see if you can double click this you will understand if you see here these are the logs generated the audit logs which we said earlier we said right if unlike human a robot can generate what are the step by steps time done at what time if you see here see what is done so calculation is done so decision box is done and then each value what it came at that particular instant also came and then finally at amaravati the values got matched 
and then the addition became true and then the process became end and then if you can see here this is the timestamp of each process so from a process perspective understand there are thousands of records and then you will understand which record is examined or processed at what instance of time and then you can have a matrix like this this is called a audit log right so, so hope you have understood so what is uh, process how to uh, create it how to publish it and how to run from a control room right so hope you understood keep watching our videos keep learning